Hey folks, what's going on? This is Sunday, June 24th. It's about 3.30 p.m. and I figured that um, we would go take a trip over to the A yard. I want to take a look at the nukes, especially the gas tank bees to see how they're doing. Uh, if you all remember my previous video, there was bees that we removed inside of an old gas tank. And while we're there, I'm actually going to try to change out the nucleus box bodies. Uh, I have different boxes that have a screen bottom board. This is Southwest Florida, so it's really, really hot outside. Temperatures have been above 90, a lot of humidity, and right now it's getting ready to rain. Let's go take a look and uh, we'll see what's going on and check the progress of them. And uh, I do appreciate you all following along. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I do these types of videos for fun. Uh, if you do like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. It doesn't really matter to me, but I appreciate any feedback, good or bad, that you want to give me. Okay, and here we are at the A yards. I want to show you some Brazilian pepper trees. But here in Florida, they're actually a category one invasive tree or a shrub, and they grow so fast and so abundantly, they'll actually choke out the other native foliage and the native trees in the area. So they're a bee favorite. Um, they put out tons and tons of blooms, and uh, there's actually one right over here. Check it out. So as you'll see here, this is a Brazilian pepper tree, and you can see the little tiny peppers on them but before these little things go to fruit they actually are abundance of flowers and the bees will just pollinate them like crazy you'll see I mean it goes all the way up I mean just tons and tons of Brazilian pepper and even up in there there's a lot of Brazilian pepper box there on the end is basically just empty equipment with the two nukes on it there's no bees in there but we got two in the back there and we got these three up here in the front the nuke in the middle is the gas tank bees and the other nuke on the right is another swarm I believe I captured so I want to take a real quick peek and just see what's going on and again we got some clouds rolling in here but we got some bee activity at the entrance Tip I do, I put a, some smoke on my hands. Okay, so on the lid there's no, no high beetle, so that's a good sign. And they're cross combing. Combing this way. And that's one advantage of using a starter strip is it'll prevent the bees from drawing the wrong way. I didn't have any starter strip in that frame. So looks like most of the colony is up here on the top. Queen's definitely in it because there's there's brood. And see the brood on this side over here. But what I need to do is I need to clean off the cut off this stuff. This is just oriented the wrong way. And if I don't correct it now, then it'll just be a bigger mess in the future. Okay, so that looks like a fairly normal comb now. I don't see the queen on it. Another frame of brood, so we definitely know that we have a queen. I am looking for signs of K-wing or external mites on the bees, but right now they all look healthy. Didn't see the queen. It is starting to thunder, so I gotta kinda 
hurry here. We have a queen cup. Nice frame of brood. I'm not finding the queen, so I gotta keep on continuing. I don't wanna delay too much more time. I don't need to see her. I'd like to see her, but I definitely know she's there. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to very carefully remove this top medium box. I'll put it on this screen bottom board here for the interim. And it really doesn't look like they've used the bottom box at all, to be honest. You see here, here's the bottom box. And there's really not a lot of bees in it. So this is the medium size on the new screened nuke box. Lots of brood, lots of bees. So let's go ahead and uh, go through these frames. working on this frame here. Oh, but a whole bunch of small hive beetles. In my guess, that's probably why they weren't occupying the bottom box is because this, the bottom board, it gives the, the beetles too much room. Kinda have to go a little quickly. This old frame here has absolutely nothing on it. We got bees festooning on the bottom. There's the queen, right there. Right there she is. Oh, she's a beauty. She's a beautiful queen. She's right here. Can you see her? I hope you can see her. Right here. Kind of like what I got. I got the old nuke box angled up. So we give them a little light puff and they're marching. Marching right into their new home. And you'll see I got the high beetles. Gas tank bees are alive and kicking. I could probably give them a honey frame on the bottom. So that's something for me to consider. And there we go, so far so good. That's a gas tank bees have been moved into a new nucleus box with a screen bottom Got board. The clouds rolling in still. It hasn't started raining yet, but uh, We'll see how they go. I'd like to do the same thing to this nucleus box here. This colony is doing very good. Packed with bees. It's gonna start raining here in another five minutes. lost my sunlight because it's getting darker out. It's about ready to rain. We got brood on the frame. Got brood on this side as well. We got a queen cup towards the bottom. I didn't see the queen, but... <laughs> Here's the inside of the box. Lots of bees. There's the entrance. So I'm gonna put the entrance up to the to the other entrance here. Just like I did before. Okay, and I do not see the queen on the side walls.
come out of the nuke and right into the new box. So now we'll put the ventilated screened inner cover back on and the telescoping top cover and we'll slide them over. Now I do have another box at the house that I can come over and I'll give them another five frames above them and then they'll expand. Um, they're working out the frames. They do have space. The cells were not packed with uh, nectar pollen. There's plenty of space for the queen to lay. The only bad thing is I did not see the queen in this colony, um, but obviously she's in there. And again, the wind is picking up. It's about fixing, starting to rain here. So got to kind of hurry up a little bit. All right, well, so far it's a success. Um, I came here to replace the two nukes with uh, nucleus boxes that had screen bottoms, and that, that's now done. Unfortunately, I didn't see the queen for this colony, but I know she's in there with the amount of uh, brood and larva that we saw. Uh, I do hope we saw the queen for the, the fuel tank bees. What a beautiful queen. Uh, now, what I did, if you remember my last video from the boat removal bees, um, the bees that I cut out, I put the cut comb in a deep box. There was about eight frames, but I did not see the queen. So I added a queen excluder over this colony. This colony is, has two 10 frame medium sized boxes and they were packed wall to wall. So I added a queen excluder and I set this, this deep box from the boat removal bees right on top of them. And now I'd really like to take a quick peek just to look at the frames, see if there's a queen in there. If there's a queen up top, then I'll put it on its own bottom board. But if there's no queen, um, I'll just check it out. And uh, I do have some extra frames here that they can, they can use. And I'll more than likely remove the, the queen excluder. But let's just take a real quick peek since it's not raining yet. This drone, this uh, brood is all hatched out now. I'm just looking for a queen. And there's no brood on any of this comb. Well, I'm confident, guys, there's no, uh, there's no queen. I'm looking over these frames again just to see if there's a queen. And there's not, so. This colony has 10 deep frames. They're checkerboard with foundation, foundationless. I'm gonna add the screened inner cover back. I'm going to put the telescoping inner cover back there. And then we'll come back in a couple of weeks and we'll do another inspection. But for now, they got plenty of space. My goal here is to remove one of the medium boxes on the bottom and uh, hopefully use it for a honey super, but um, there's a lot of bees. So we'll come back again at a later date. Right now it hasn't started raining yet, but like I said, I'm losing daylight. And here comes the rain right on cue. This colony back here we did not check, and this colony we did not check. So in my next video, we'll check these two. I gotta turn this camera off because it's starting to rain. And uh, again, if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you get alerted when I upload the next video. And uh, do check out my Facebook page too. You'll find me on Facebook and I do post shorter little update videos uh, just to keep the progress flowing. So thanks again, y'all. Hope you have a good day. Happy beekeeping. Yep. Just in time with the bees. I'm happy I checked when I checked. Cause it's a pouring here in Florida. Fun. We 
made it home in the monsoon, and you'll see I got the uh, pile of wax frames here stacked up in my truck. This will all get melted down. I'll turn these into candles.